I'm going to show you a sample demonstration of how to fill out a program instruction sheet from Peak Equivalence and how to transfer those stimuli onto a stimulus equivalence data sheet to run a program with a participant. So this is something obviously you're not doing when you have the participant, you're pre-filling these out to have ready to run the program. Um, but for Peak Equivalence playing music 13A, you're actually going to have three separate steps, but right now I'm going to talk to you about the stimuli that you might choose for this program. So we just started with basic keys um, and notes. So for stimuli A, it might be for class 1, B, the note B, G, and let's do E. So there's your three initial classes. The date that I'm introducing this is today, the 14th. And then for this, sometimes I write extra notes on here. So you might write like up here, spoken. So you're going to say B, G, and E. So like play B, play G, play E. And then for stimuli B, you're going to be picking the same note but they're going to have the symbols. So for the piano, you're going to have the B note, the G note, and an E note. And then we're going to have the card with the actual note on it. And that would be the B card, the G card, and the E card. So really the only materials you're going to need for this is um, maybe a note card with the B note written out, or I'm sorry, the B note drawn out on the scale um, on the staff itself. So you would need a card for B, G, and E since those are your three stimuli. And so you would have those notes um, drawn out on that um, music paper. So then for transferring this onto a data sheet, I would write for a participant, I'm just going to put demo, 13A, playing music, this is my program. And again, you can see on here that there are three steps, three blocks. So, name and date, or initials and date, step one is train A to B. Train A to B. Okay, so then I'm going to be picking these in random order to put in my block. So I might do one, two, three, two, two, three, one, one, two, and three. So these correspond to the notes. So one is B, two is G, three is E, and those are intermixed kind of evenly, some back to back within that train block. So this whole block is train. So you're gonna be training and sitting at the piano or keyboard and you're just gonna be saying, play B, then the next one, play G, play E. For two, I would say, play G, play G. For the next trial six, it's number three, play E, play B, play B, play G. The last one is an E. Okay, so then you're gonna be filling out that data, score it, then you're gonna move straight into the next one. Again, this is already filled out before you're running with a participant, but just to kind of talk through this. Step two, you're still training, providing feedback, reinforcement, um, prompting, things like that. And this is A to C. So you're now going to be saying the note and you're gonna say which one means. And you're gonna have your three cards out with these notes drawn on, that, um, on the uh, music paper. And you're gonna say, which one is B, which one is G, which one is E, and they're gonna be touching one of those three cards to answer. Okay, so again, I'm gonna intermix these. So maybe one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, let's see, I may do one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, and then maybe a one and a one at the end. Okay, so when I'm running this, I have the three cards with the notes in front of the participant, and I'm gonna say which one means B, which one means G, which one means E, and they should be touching one of those three cards for the C stimuli. So we're doing A to C. Which note means B, and they're picking C, one of those C stimuli. You're gonna be prompting, reinforcing, giving feedback, using all of your scores again for this block. So you've run 10 trials, now you've run 20 trials, and you're gonna move straight into your third block of test. Okay, so step three is test C to B. 
okay? So you're going to be going card to playing the note on the piano. So again, intermix all of your stimuli. So I'm just randomly picking different notes, okay? And if this helps, again, you can go ahead and scratch through the two, four, and eight on your score sheet before working with the participant so you know you're only marking zeros and tens. You're not giving any feedback. You're not prompting, reinforcing, anything. You're now just testing the skill. For this, you're gonna be just doing um, in front of the piano, in front of a keyboard, whatever it is that you're using to play this music on, and you're gonna tell them to play this note, and you're gonna be showing them the card, okay? So you're gonna show them the card that has G on it, and you're gonna put that card up above the keyboard, and you're gonna say, play this note. Play this note. Play this note. Play this note. And you're gonna be switching the card up depending on what number you have here. So I'm showing the G card. G card, play this note. E card, play this note. E card again, play this note, take it away. B card, play this note, take it away. So each time just kind of remove it because those back-to-back -back trials, you don't want to show them that you're just putting the same card out. So just kind of withdraw everything from the field again, replace it out, and you're just going to be marking all or nothing. They either got it correct on the keyboard or they didn't get it correct. At the end, score it all up, and you've got your three blocks of 30 trials completed at that time. So this is just an example of how to fill out a program sheet from equivalents and how to transfer that over to a data sheet. And this example happened to have um, three blocks in it for you to see. Play B. Look at your notes with the black tape. Play B. Good, that is playing B. Play G. Try it again, play G. That's B. Think about it, play G. Good, playing G. Play E. That was close, I couldn't tell though, play E. There we go, play G. Yay, play G again. You did it, play E. That's G, play E. Play E. That was different note, that's F, play E. There you go. Now play B. Good, play B. Nice job, play G. You did it, play G. So good. B. Good, that is B, where's G? That is G, where's E? That is E, let's do some more. All right, find B. Look again, where's B? That is B, where's G? No, try again, where's G? Hmm, look again, where's G? That is G, nice job finding that. Let's do E. Good, where's G? Nice, where's E? Good, where's B? We're gonna do one more. Where's B? Good. Play this note. Let's do another one. Play this note. Let's do another. Play this note. Do another one, play this note. Let's do another one, play this note. 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 Last one, play this note. All right, go ahead and check your scores for peak equivalence. Equivalence playing music 13A.